Hey guys, Cajun Reseller here again. Uh, this is the next week's video, the week of September basically 29th to October 4th. This is going to be a fun video because I actually uh, am going on a trip this weekend. So I'm not sure how much, uh, what sold I'm going to have, but this is the sourcing that I've done before I leave for my trip. And stick around to find out where I'm going. Uh, these two I got at a thrift store. These were 50 cents each. If you can hear, it actually sounds like they're purring. These are from 1995 by Tyco, and they're actually both worth uh, around $50. I paid 50, 50 cents for each one. This one's a Calico Cat. This is a brand to be on the lookout for, apparently. Kitty Kitty Baby Kittens, 1995 Tyco Industries. This calico, the Siamese cat is actually the best one to find. It's worth around 70. This is the calico cat. It's worth around 50 or so. And this is the tiger. This little guy is worth, I think, between 40 and 50. I wasn't even going to, I had passed these up at first when I looked at them. And then I saw that they were cats. So uh, KJ, if y'all, you know, most of y'all know KJ, she loves cats. So I decided to look at them and uh, I'm glad I did. Thanks, KJ. <laughs> Uh, I also got some audiobooks at an estate sale. I paid $2 each for these. I'm not sure if they're worth it. It was the last day of the estate sale. They said they would bargain, you know, they'd make a deal, which originally these were four each. She made a sign she was going to give me a deal, and then she charged me $2 each. So it wasn't really a deal. I thought she said I was going to get a deal, but whatever. Uh, I'll try and sell those. I think I, I did comp them, the ones I got. They're all new in the packaging. And on Amazon, they were going for between 20 and 30, and it was a, a rank of around 3 million on books, which if you didn't know anything about Amazon, that's kind of a low ranking. But I believe they do sell, so I'm going to put all those merchant fulfilled, not uh, FBA them, and see if they sell. And I'll just keep them at my house and sell them or ship them out when they sell. Went to a garage, I mean, not garage, a thrift store where I got some really good uh, computer and PC games. This is an anime. I've never even know what it is. Excel Saga. Uh, paid 99 cents for it. it. Looked cool, and I scanned it, and it was worth the money. This is Voices of Distant Star. Same thing. I don't know what it don't know what it is, but it was money. This Omega Boost PlayStation game was worth money too. Paid a dollar 99 for that. Star Wars Galaxy Starter Kit. Dollar 99. And Stub Zombie, this thing was worth over fifty dollars from what I could see. So, pretty good pickup. It's not none of those are new in the packaging; they're all opened. But from what I looked at, everything was there. So I was going to pick them up. Also got another one of these Canes dogs. And I'm building up a big plethora of these, so I'm gonna I'm not sure if I'm gonna lot them all together or I don't know. But this one's a Christmas one, so it's about to be Christmas. Uh, paid ninety nine cents for five plush at a different thrift store. Uh, this little Shopkins, I believe it's a cactus. Not sure exactly, but I'll have to look it up. This guy, Pups, it's, one, it's a TY, but it had the tags. It's not new with tags, but it had the tags, so I picked it up. This one will probably pay for all of us. It's only paid 99 cents. It's Cupid Pooh Bear with, uh, as a horse. Strange, but I mean, it's got the Disney Store logo on it, so. <laughs> this is a panda. Panda Bear. It's a TY. It's actually pretty big. Didn't have a name, doesn't have a name, but I don't think those, those aren't hard to look up. This is a lamb that has the tags as well. It's a We Believe plush. It uh, plays some kind of prayer. I'm not sure which one exactly because it doesn't work, but I'll change the batteries out and see if it works or not. Also got these Brooks running shoes. These are really cool. The comps actually weren't that great on them. I paid four bucks. They're going for around 30. I thought they were going to be pretty cool. Cool design. The bottom looks... I mean, they're a little worn, but overall, they're in good condition. And now for the two what solds. <laughs> Not very many, like I said. This Polo Ralph Lauren shirt sold for $13. It came out of one of the storage units I bought. And these two... Uh, this pair of Uggs. I think I showed these off in a previous sourcing video. I probably paid anywhere from 5 to $10 for them. They sold for 39 The person messaged me and asked me... Uh, if I could hold, the, if I could wait for payment until Thursday, and I said, well, I didn't say this, but I was like, in my mind, well, do I have any choice? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, oh yeah, two more items. Found this Goofy for $1.99. It's an applause 
goofy plush. Looked kind of older. I don't know. I'll have to look him up. Uh, and then I got a Bugs Bunny Statue of Liberty plush for $1.49. It's got a little bit of dirt on him. That should be, shouldn't be too hard to clean up. Just a little cloth. I think we'll get that out. And I'll disclose it if I can't. But he should sell for around 15 to 20 as well. All right. So where am I going? Uh, hopefully I'll get some footage from it, but I'm going to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for sourcing to meet up with, uh, I don't know how many people exactly, but I know it's going to be James Callie Picker, Larry L.L. Stash, KJ Victoria from Adventures in Reselling, Nate from Everyday I'm Hustling, and Pittsburgh Anthony. And there might be, I think Greg might be going, Kathy from Music 55 might be going, Greg from No Money G. So hopefully we'll have a lot of people. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully I can get some clips inside the store. We'll see, though. I'll put a picture of all of us if we take one, but uh, hopefully I'll have some good footage from that. See y'all in a second. I had a couple sales before I left to go to the Pittsburgh meetup. I uh, sold this UX Expedition XL sweater. Or it's a vest, kind of, jacket vest, I guess. This sold on Mercari for $29. This came from a lot of clothing I won from Justin Jacobs, and I will show that uh, sourcing vi or unboxing video at some point, but for now I haven't done that yet. Uh, sold these little planes figures. Remember, I picked these up for 25 cents each, so I'm in them for 82 cents once you add in the tax. These sold for around 32 dollars on eBay. So, like I said, the the metal these the metal ones are the good ones. Plastic aren't as good, but the metal planes figures because they've only done one movie, and they're very hard to find. I guess I found them at a thrift store. Uh, Carolina Mudcats, a minor league baseball team. Uh, this hat sold for twelve dollars on eBay, and then I sold a Stitch. This is supposed to be Stitch as a dog. <laughs> That's what it st says on the tag, y'all. I've shown this in a previous video. He sold for twelve dollars on eBay. I also did a little bit of sourcing yesterday, which would be uh, Wednesday. This Mickey Mouse hat paid uh, two or three dollars for it. It's a interesting hat. Couldn't pass it up because of the graphics on it. So hopefully that'll sell for some good money. This Pound Puppies brown dog. I seem to I pick those up whenever I can. Pound Puppies uh, in good condition. I think will sell for some good money. Uh, Mr. Pink Panther. If anybody from Primetime Treasure Hunter, he's a big uh, Pink Panther fan. So this is supposed to be like Pink Panther dressed as Playboy. I think that's what I that's what I looked up when I saw it online. So he has a little bit of cleanup he's needed that's needed before I list him, but the comps are going for uh between twenty five and thirty dollars for him. This build a bear plush I paid three dollars for it. Uh the plush by himself I don't think is worth that much, but the clothing might be. But I wasn't gonna pass up the build a bear with the full clothing for uh for three dollars. This Boston Red Sox hat. I didn't see many comps of this, this exact design, so I'm hoping it'll, it's a good one. They also had a Patriots hat. I was going to lot the two together, but they wanted three bucks for each hat, and I just didn't see the value there for the Patriots hat, but I got the Red Sox hat. The last item I got was this uh, PS2. It's a slim version of the PS2. It does power on. I need to test it and make sure it works with the game. I have seven days to return it, but uh, usually if it, if it turns on, doesn't necessarily mean it works, but it's a good indicator that it's going to work. So I'll have to find I'll have to find one of my old games and make sure it works. But I think it works. Comps are going for uh, between fifty and sixty dollars for this, so that should be a good flip as well. Uh, and now I will show the Pittsburgh stuff. Thanks for watching. I had some sales while I was gone in Pittsburgh over the weekend. Uh, I'm about to show you some pictures from the weekend. Uh, these are some pictures I didn't really take very many, so I was able to pull pictures from other people. But uh, here's a couple pictures from the weekend. And here are my sales over the weekend. I uh, sold this a lot of DVDs that came out of one of the storage units I bought. These sold for about, I think, $14, so they'll ship out media mail. Not going to be much profit, maybe 5 or 6 bucks, but hey, it's profit. <laughs> uh, I did sell that Sasquatch uh, jacket again. It's in this bag. 
I'm not going to take it out because it's already pretty much packed because I thought I was going to sell it whenever I went to Arkansas and then they never paid. Luckily, this one was a full price off or full price buy of $54, whereas the other one was an offer of $35 that I accepted. So I made an extra like 19 bucks because that person didn't pay. I'll take that. <laughs> I sold this set of five squeezables for uh, $30. I paid a dollar each for these. Some of them, I guess I took the tags off all these. Some of them I had, a, had the tags showing a dollar, but none of these guys do. So that's good. I can ship these out easily. <laughs> Uh, this little guy sold for $25. It's a Pick Me Pop. Uh, it does... I'm not sure if it lights up. I put it in the description. I'm not sure if it works. Uh, but it's still a plush. And I believe it will work just with battery change. Sold six of these. I only have five because I already packaged up the six that I had. So I thought I had six, but I only have five left now. So almost done getting rid of those. The, the set of six sold for $221. I paid about 22 for each one of these, so it's a probably a profit of 40 or 50 bucks on all these. Not my best buy, but uh, the return period was up on these, and I decided to keep them because I thought, uh, you never know, like Joe Burrow's been playing pretty well so far. His team's haven't been winning, but he's had like a couple 300-yard games, so I think that's partially why that people were starting to buy these or starting to look and see if they can find Joe Burrow in there. I might, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell those five that are still left or not. I might hold on to them for a little while. I sold this lion plush, which I never thought I'd sell. It plays Wild Thing. I like that. <laughs> but I sold that for, I think, $12 on eBay. On Mercari. He won't be quiet. There we go. Sold this set of Squishmallows for 58 bucks. I was I, I knew I was going to get around that. Probably I had them listed for like 68 got off for 58 and I wasn't going to turn that down. I got these, uh, did not pay $4.99 each. This is a store called Dirt Cheap. Uh, I probably got them for $1.60 or $2 each. So that's $10 or no, $12 there probably. Turned into $58. And like I said, or like you know, Halloween's coming up. So everyone's trying to get their Halloween in. And these are all Halloween themed. This is a Houston Astros hat. Sold for $19. It's uh, orange and navy blue. But that was a nice sale. And this Hella figure came in the big lot of uh, Marvel Legends figures I got. It's not new. There is a piece missing. I disclose that in the listing. But the figure is there, and then some of the other pieces are there as well. The thing that's missing is the Build-A-Figure Hulk. Whoever this person was that had these all stored, basically, you know, bought the bought these figures, took the, took the pieces out, made Hulk, and then... Uh, you know, left them in the box, left the rest of the stuff in the box. But this sold for thirty-two dollars, and I paid fifteen for each one of those Marvel Legends figures. The last sale, which is the best one, uh, this card right here. It's in another one of these Illuminati cards. I'm gonna try and make a video on all the Illuminati stuff, and hopefully this one will be in it. Obviously, <laughs> uh, but this sold for ninety-nine ninety-nine at auction, and they paid, and it's going international shipping to Canada, I believe. So that was a good sale. Uh, overall, a fun weekend in Pittsburgh. Way too short. <laughs> I was not. Ha I was sad to leave. Uh, it was hard to say goodbye to everybody because you know it's gonna be a long time before we see each other again. We're planning another meetup, probably uh, six months from now, and maybe in New Orleans. Not sure exactly, but that's the tentative plan. So if you're interested, uh, just let me know. Uh, I'll try and reach out, and we'll keep in contact about it, and hopefully you can all come to it. Thanks for watching, guys.